First, just hours before a Clinton police officer is laid to rest, we spoke with one woman who says she saw him just days before he was shot and killed. She is just one of several people in the community now mourning the death of Officer Gary Michael, who died in the line of duty earlier this week. Today, his accused killer made his plea in court for the first time, and 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial witnessed how the officer's family reacted while in court. As the family of murdered Clinton police officer Gary Michael entered the courtroom, Dozens of his fellow officers stood at attention. The silence in the room interrupted by the sound of family members crying. Once accused killer Ian McCarthy appeared on the screen. Prosecutors say McCarthy shot and killed Officer Michael last Sunday during a traffic stop. That then led to a two-day manhunt and McCarthy's capture on Tuesday. The Henry County prosecutor says Sunday's shooting was planned and he believes McCarthy wanted to harm an officer but says he didn't think Michael was the specific target. I, I think probably it would be more towards law enforcement in general. I don't, I don't know that he had any specific animosity toward uh, Officer Michael, none that I'm aware of. Across the street from the courthouse is China House. Workers there say Officer Michael often came in for lunch. It's sad, it is, it's not fair. It was a good cop, you know, you want, you know, it's, it's just not fair. Alicia Martinez was his waitress on Friday. I remember he would joke with me a lot. He was just really funny. He's, he'd always joke around because I'm pretty clumsy and I'm kind of all over the place. Have you ever dropped his food? No. I've almost, like, his egg rolls almost rolled off, but. The second person in connection with this case is William Noble who also appeared in court Friday. He's charged with tampering with evidence. Court documents state he sold the alleged murder weapon to McCarthy. Noble told investigators when he got home Monday, the rifle he sold to McCarthy was leaning on his door. Documents say he panicked, told his wife that he was taking out the trash, then went and ditched the gun. The weapon was recovered Thursday. As for McCarthy, prosecutors have not decided if they want to try this as a death penalty case. Now, the next time McCarthy will enter the Henry County Courthouse won't be until late October. Reporting live in Clinton, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News. Stephen, thank you. Tonight, family and friends will hold a visitation for Officer Gary Michael. It will run from 6 until 9 at the Clinton Funeral Home. Then his funeral is tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. at the Benson Convention Center. There is a public viewing opportunity two hours before the funeral starts. We will carry the funeral live on our sister station, 38 The Spot, and we will also stream it on all of our digital platforms. To honor Officer Michael, Governor, Ger Governor Eric Greitens ordered all flags to fly at half-staff starting tomorrow, which is, of course, the day of his funeral. The flags are supposed to stay at half-staff until August 19th.